So we're here to shoot a quick video on determining whether a, a crack is structural or not. We're gonna show you this curb right here that we have. And with this curb, we do have some spider cracking, but what I wanna show you of what we do, and we do this on, in the interior swimming pools with gunite, shotcrete, and when it's plastered, it doesn't make a difference. What we like to show you is, is how it looks dry and then how it looks wet. So by wetting it, what that's gonna actually do is gonna let the cracks retain the moisture while the rest of it dries out. I'm gonna do a quick demonstration right here, right now to show how that's done and then how we can determine what's structural and what's not. So check it out. So right now we're just gonna lightly wet it. I mean, we don't have to completely saturate it, but we're gonna get it nice and wet. And then what we're gonna do is rely on the sun to actually dry it out. And that's what we're doing right here. So this is after we wet it, we had wet it, you saw the process. These are retaining real, real moisture. These are retaining real, real moisture. However, this is all just check and shrink cracking from the original. So there's no structural issues with this whatsoever, but you see where that moisture is really retained? Next thing, what we would typically do is mark it with a crayon or a permanent marker so that, remember, this is gonna to start to disappear, especially when you're working with plasters, pebble tech, and so on. So while it's wet, mark out the structure, mark it out every foot. I like to put it across every foot so you can understand where the structural cracking appears. So take a look at the before and after pictures and it shows you what retains the moisture. Here we're out, I'm doing it on an actual swimming pool. Again, mapping and misting and marking it out. For more information, visit torquelock.com and always check out our YouTube videos.